Right, as you'll see in the uh, Express and Star uh, today, there uh, seems to be a marked change in the in the mood among Albion fans. It's uh, sort of the, the Pulis uh, out feeling is is growing among supporters. Uh, when we ran the end of season survey last year, it was split pretty 50-50. Um, but our, our latest poll now suggests that seven in ten fans uh, want to see the uh, back of Tony Pulis as uh, as Albion manager. Obviously, feelings heightened this week a lot in the wake of the uh, League Cup exit against Northampton Town. Uh, on penalties, um, but it's uh, it's not long to go to the end of the transfer window now, and I think there's a lot of very nervous uh, Baggies fans about. Uh, we just see Matt Phillips come in and Brendan Galloway on loan, but apart from that, it's been very quiet uh, through the uh, through the door of the Hawthorns. So um, you know, Pulis is bearing a, a, a lot of that pressure. Uh, but I think it's also up to the board really to to try and uh, get out there and, and get some of these signings in. Obviously, been complicated by the uh, by the takeover process um, you know and it, th that needs to be wrapped up quickly so uh, so Albion can get there and uh, start spending some cash. It's obviously a, a big day for many 16 year olds up and down the country today and uh, Albion's Kane Wilson uh, is among them made his first team debut for the uh, for the Buggies on uh, on Tuesday night and uh, today he's been picking up his GCSE results two A's uh, among them as well so uh, very well done to uh, Kane from everyone at the ENS.